Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch like a dragon Asian game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once. Sometimes a sim simple restart takes care of the problem. So restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. If that does not work, try DX11 in launch option. So make a right click on Steam, make a right click on the game and then select property. In the launch option, type in DX11. That is dash DX11 without any space. And then launch the game. If that does not work, you can type in dash B3 D11. Now type in this and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can remove this and then follow the next step. Next step is to delete the save game files. Now before you delete the save game file, let me inform you that this will result in loss of game progress. So you will lose everything. You have to start everything from scratch. So if you agree, then delete the save game files. Now for this, open file explorer. Now go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data over here on the top, click on view and then put a check on the box with says hidden items. When it's hidden, you won't be able to see it. So go to view and then put a check on the hidden items over here and you should be able to see app data. If you have Windows 11, somewhere over here, you will find the view option. Click on view, then select show and then put a check on hidden items. You should be able to see app data. Now open this app data folder, open local folder. Over here, you can see the game folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. Now after you delete it, now launch the game. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so go to game make a right click select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder over here you can see the exe file make a right click and then select properties go to compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click over here and then try launching the game from here now see for another exe file if you have so open this like a dragon folder binaries folder win64 over here you can see the game exe file make a right click select properties go to compatibility put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click over here and try launching the game still you are facing the problem then uncheck administrator still you are unable to launch the game or if still you are facing the problem then uncheck this box from the both the exe files and then once you uncheck it now follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on mcafee bit defender whatever whichever antivirus you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings and then go to update and security if you have windows 10 if you have windows 11 on the left hand side you will have privacy and security option for windows 11 click on privacy and security windows 10 click on update and security then click on virus and uh, windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end click on manage manage uh, ransomware protection now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86, open the Steam folder, now open the Steam apps folder, now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. In my case, it's in different drive. So open the Steam folder, Steam apps, common, and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, now click on open. Again, click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps, open like a dragon folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, now click on open. Now do the same thing in control panel. So type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to system and security. Now go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings on the top and then click on allow another app. Now click on browse. Go to the game installation folder once again. Open the game folder. And then select this exe file. Now click on open. Now click on add. Once this is added, now again click on allow another app. Browse. Open this folder, binaries, win64, select this exe, now click on open, now click on add. Now once the game exes are added over here, now click on ok. Now launch the game. 
Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search and then scroll down. The latest one right now, GeForce Game Ready Driver, that is driver version is 528.49. Period Click on get download and then again click on download now. Once the download is complete, run this exe file and then you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. Then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and after the clean installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to roll back graphics drivers. So if the new driver does not work, you can roll back graphics drivers to the previous version or older version. So you can select your graphic card again, the right operating system, scroll down. Uh, the latest one right now is GeForce Game Ready Driver. That's 528 period 49. You can try Game Ready Driver 528 period 24 or maybe you can try 528 period 02. So whichever um, you want, you can install the older version. Click on get download again. Click on download and then once the download is complete, run the exe file. But when you are installing the driver, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, do a clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game file, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify in integrity of game files. Now after the verification, launch the game. Next step is to disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have Discord, in close it. If you have GeForce experience running, close it. Turn off Nvidia Shadow Play or AMD overlay. So dis close all the overlay application or disable overlay and then launch the game. Also close close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner running or Revert Unit running, so close all the overclocking application, close it and then launch the game. Also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Then click on disable all. In my case, this is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart a computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Now click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder, open the game folder and then select the game exe file. Now click on add. Now once this is added, click on options, high performance, save. Again click on browse, open the game for this folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file and then click on. Now once this is added, click on options, high, high performance and then click on save. Now launch the game. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. For this type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings. Now click on the first settings and then go to the advanced tab and then click on change. By default automatically manage paging file would be selected over here. Uncheck this box and then select the drive where the game is installed and then put a check on custom size. And then for me, this is working. Initial size is 1.5 into total RAM. Now check the total RAM in your computer. So you can open Windows settings, go to system and then go to about. And then over here, you can see the total RAM. In my case, it's eight gigabytes. So it might be 16 in your case. So in my case, it's eight gigabyte. Now you have to convert eight gigabyte into megabyte. For this, you open calculator on your computer and in my case, total RAM is 8 gigabyte. We have to convert this to megabyte into 1021024. That is 8192 megabyte. So total RAM as per 8 gigabyte in megabyte is 8192. 
for me. So initial size is 1.5 into total RAM. That is, this is the total RAM into 1.5. That is 12288. And maximum size for me, it's 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM is 8192 in megabyte into 3. So for me, it's 24576. Enter the numbers over here, then click on set, click on OK, click on OK, and then click on apply, OK, OK. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. So download x86 and then download x64. So you have to download x86 and x64, both the file, and then run both the exe file. Click on it. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. You might see the install option. So if you see install, click on install. If you see repair, click on repair. Click on yes to allow, and then run the second file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, I have already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. So once installed, you will see a restart option over here. Make sure both the installation are complete, then click on restart. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to update your Windows to the latest version. Now, this is very important. So go to Windows settings and then click on update and security or Windows update and then click on check for update over here. Once the update is installed, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitors. So try launching the game on single monitor. Unplug all the USB devices which you are not using. So if you have additional controller or these devices connected, disconnected. Also, if you have these services running in task manager, close these services and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to update your system BIOS. So uh, to update your system BIOS, go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your model number and then find the latest BIOS available and then download it, install it and update the system BIOS. Now, in case of laptop, if it is a laptop, make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. It will update. Do not unplug the power cable. Let the BIOS update complete, then log in and then launch the game. Now, next step is to try window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. Now go to settings and accessibility. Now over here, go to graphics. Now over here, if this is set to full screen, you can try borderless or you can even go for window. Now if the re resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more. So you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can lower down more. Now AMD FSR 2.1 is off in my case so you can turn it off and then check but if you want to keep it on then you can try AMD FSR 2.1 set it to quality mode. Now scroll down. You can try with VSync off and then check the performance. Now scroll down. Now if the graphics quality is set to extra high then you can select high and then check the performance if that does not work you can try medium you can even go for low or extra and set the fps at 60 this will give you stable performance so set it to 60 now keep these quality as low now apply the settings and then check the performance now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder then restart your computer and after the system restart reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel